Hey everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode we caught the Stew Thief, and in this episode we're going to talk to Dude. Aha! I've been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the, uh, the one you apprehended is our sticky yummy malcontent. I've deduced this from the lack of any incriminating clues in his room. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it is decided then, I shall take you on as my new assistant. So to reiterate, my name is Pennington. I'm a detective from Poshley Heights. I'm known as, in some circle as the penguin with the improbably large brain. I'm sure you have heard of me, so that is all I will say on the subject. And as for your name, wait, I demand you not to tell me. I shall deduce your identity. A mustache? That nose? Ho ho ho, all too easy. You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? No, I'm Mario. No need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. Ah, it's that a nice change of pace. Now about this threat. Our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion. That b that family of bob -bombs. They're definitely suspect. Now, Luigi, we will reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. All right, let's go uh, talk to them. Ah, yeah. So, the nice thing about this chapter is you actually kind of get a day-night cycle. So you get this like evening and night and uh, morning. We even listening. Uh, yeah, and we got these two arguing. I think we should get Little Bub, the Advanced Learner's Classic Series of Bombery. Two words, cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house. Bub is too small for such things, Gold Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him, honestly. Pfft, I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. Hey, mister. Are you a you're a detective now that you quit being a champion? Well, so you think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Sure, I'm a pro. No, I'd rather not. Really cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Okay, here's a hint. Starts with an A. Got it? Alright, that doesn't help. Second hint. It's a certain person's autograph. Now, you got it, don't you? Okay, he's, uh, yeah, he'll only give you two hints, so basically he wants an autograph. Now, who could it be fraught for? That's the big question. Ah, uh, the thing Messer uh, Bob wants the most? Well, let's deduce, shall we? Oh, it's rudimentary. He wants a Game Boy Advance, my dear Luigi. Because that, my friend, is what children his age crave above all things. Is it now? Well, um, to not cut a long story short, but to make a make this go not go by faster. That's the wrong word, but to, I mean, do the right thing. Uh, we need to go to the very front of the uh, the not car, but the very front of the train. That's the one. Um, first one is zip toed. Um. Now, he's not hes not the guy we need the autograph from, which I actually have never done it. Never gotten an autograph from him. Uh, was, uh, uh, should we stoked to have an autograph? Mine. Oh man, don't they all? I can't do it, unfortunately. I only signed for chicks. Um, would this work? Uh... Yeah, okay. So, yeah, it doesn't work. Just making sure. So, yeah. Uh, the autograph he actually wants is for the conductor, because he's a nerd. Oh. Move it, Yosh. Move it, Yosh. There we go. Start piece. And over here, talk to this toad. Uh, running this train during the sunset is the high point of every day for me. 
So let's all hear it for the extra subtract. Huzzah! Huzzah! Oh wait, hold on. Actually, this is not the right thing. We gotta go all the way back to the back of the train. I forgot. Um, Cause he's not gonna give us any more hints. Um, yeah. I don't know, this chapter can be kind of, not annoying, but kind of, um, kind of tough, uh, as far as your puzzle solving skills. I guess. Um, yeah, let's talk to this guy. I can hear everything the family's fighting about loud and clear from in here. What I heard was cute. That boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. What an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that. <laughs> Gonzalez, you think that bucket might want, might want something from a guy he admires, maybe? Whatever he wants, you gotta find it soon or else boom! Yummy and sticky. Oh yeah! So that's what you gotta do. You gotta talk to the um, conductor. And then you gotta go up to the front and talk to the uh, engineer. All right. This music kind of reminds me of um, Pikmin a little bit. That last little, that last little few notes of that kind of has that uh, like late in the day. Well, I mean it is late in the day, but it kind of has that vibe of Pikmin. Uh, you want Agra, sir? Oh, it's for a little buff. Well, yes, of course. Here you are, sir. Scribble, scribble. You got an autograph. Autograph of the Exus Press Engineer. Gosh, I've never given out an autograph before. That felt fantastic. Oh, that's nice. Alright. Let's go right. So, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Make our way downtown. Walking fast on our Yoshi. And I'm bomb bound. Ba ba da ba da ba. Alright, almost there. Number eight. Last coach. So, do you mean anything I want most? Here's an autograph. Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. That shine's right, sweet. Uh, thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it, I promise. Alright. And now it's nighttime. Um, so you got this nice little music playing in the background. So it was an autograph. Uh, so it was an autograph. Was it, Luigi? Hmm, yes, just as I suspected. Oh, the conductor just came by looking for you, Luigi. This smells of a new mystery. All right. Well, let's go find him. Hello? Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me. I just remember something suspicious. I found myself one blanket short when I was hand handing them out to the passengers. I gave the last venture my own blanket to make up for it, but it's just fixing. I have exact blanket codes. It means someone came on board without a ticket. That stowaway just might be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, it'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. If you could look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket, I'd thank you. Call me Blanket P.I. Honestly, great, thanks. Well, I have to keep watch here, but we'll be waiting for the good news. All right. So, on that note, uh, well, I don't know, we got a little bit of time left. My little bit, I mean like 30 seconds. Uh, we can do this, we can knock this out real quick, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty swift. Um, yeah, this chapter really isn't too, too long. But uh, in order to find the blanket, we got to go into room four, where nobody is, and swap out for Vivian, and go underground. Just wait for a minute.
Ooh. We got this tote. Mmm. So you found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. Didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy sticky threat? No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like a pen and paper. What? You just want a blanket then? Help. I'll tell you what it is if you do something for me. What do you say? I don't help ghosts. Fine. All I need is your life. Oh, he's just a soul. No, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear is that someone would find it and read it. Uh, and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. Okay. Um. Okay, we got. And don't even dare read my diary! Because if you do, ho 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 ho, a horrible fate awaits you. So, yeah. So, basically, we gotta head on over to, um. The back, the spare room. The baggage car, rather. Um, and do that. Come on, let's go. Let me at him. Alright. Did you find it? Yep. What? A ghost eek! And he won't give you the blanket unless you get uh, his diary from the baggage car? I see. Well, go on in and don't say no to ghosts. You don't say no to ghosts. Who are you gonna call? I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Alright. Foods. You got Ragged Diary. Diary, uh, to go skip. You shouldn't read it. Shouldn't is the keyword. Um. So. Before we uh, read it, we're gonna read it. We are gonna read it. Um. We gotta save, because it will. Um. Result in a game over, so. Just kind of want to show it off anyway. Alright. Well, that one, not the other one. Alright. Get out of here. Go and save. Progress. Alright, here we go. Gear. It should be there. Read the diary? <laughs> Or sure, uh, oh sure, what the heck. <laughs> you may be cursed by the ghost, you don't want to read it, uh, do you want to read it either? Anyway? I mean, think about this, okay? This could be really bad, do you understand me? Yeah, what the heck. Month X, day X, cloudy. I got on a train today, and on that train... You looked! Even though I told you not to, now see what happens. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, he had a game over. Um, it's kind of a funny little thing. Yeah, come on, let's go. Yeah, we are sitting with it. Oh, did it. Well, one. Alright. Let's go. Uh, door number four. Did you find my diary? Here it is. Yes, this is my diary very well. Your blanket is right here. You got a blanket. Well, the conductor's blanket. Without this, he's freezing. You're very wise not to read my diary, friend. Ooh, ooh. if you read it, you might be a spirit like me right now. But now I can go peacefully from this world. Thank you so much. You will probably never meet me again from this world. Fare thee well. Here he goes. Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wallpaper's so great. Maybe I'll sail you just a little while longer. I can't... I can leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. Ooh-hoo-hoo. Alright. Cool. 
Wait, if he wanted his diary, how could he hold it if he can't hold physical objects? Hmm, good questions. The pressing questions nobody's uh, asking because nobody cares. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and finish off this episode with getting the blanket. So, yeah. Oh, right, wait, we already got the blanket. So, Mr. Mario, how did it go? Get the blanket. Uh, okay, thank you so much. I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy, sticky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, um, this is just a gesture of my thanks. We got a mushroom. No thanks. You can pretty light, Mario. Perhaps you just turn in for the night. If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. Don't worry about a thing. Uh, for I am the conductor of the excess, uh, the excess express. I have excess items on this excess journey. So, on that note, well, we're gonna end it off sleeping. So, when the tr when the when you're done with the day's activities, the shop will close. And I mean, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you can do here. Um. And let's go to our room and turn in for the night. So, yeah, we're going to end it off here. Uh, hey, the conductor can handle the train, so let's grab a few wings, huh? Shine sprite here, by the way. I don't know if that was there before. Um, but yeah, so next time we're going to do more stuff on the train. So we'll see you guys uh, next time. <laughs>